Hello, hello, hello there guys. So, rounds three and four. Loading up for Dragon Trail. Let's hope for some better results than last time, shall we? So, just check in. There's no new news. Nope. Right. So, hoping for some good results. There we go. Hopefully we can get a better result than last week, which we kind of failed at, which was a bit of a shame. Just making sure everything's ready to go. What are we looking for? Well, it uh, looks like there's going to be a couple of no-shows. They have now added a drop round into into this championship, so that's handy because we had awful results last round through. I think we're sitting tenth in the championship, but let's hope for better uh, this time. Let's get a little bit of practice underway. Hello to any of the guys watching in the, in, online on YouTube. Let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of practice on. Let's see if we can have a better result. So if, if we remember round one, cocked up on I think lap three. Went wide in turn one. Had a kill bend. Ended up in the grass. And that really screwed me. And then race two, got punted off. Working my way to the front of the field and got absolutely nerfed in the rear end. So, let's hope for better results this time. Gonna get some practice in. Looks like at the moment Les is 48.5. So that's the kind of time we're gonna have to aim for. Got a short qualifying in this championship, so you probably only get one or two laps in qualifying. So, whereas GTTC, GTTCC, God, that is a mouthful. We need to shorten that. But anyways, um, that is like a 20-minute qualifying, so you can really just pound it around, trying to get that perfect lap time. This is going to be literally get a banker in and then do a fast lap. So it's going to be tricky. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Thank you, uh, Bob. Uh, that's MRC Bobby in the co in the comments down there in the chat section. Good luck to yourself as well. You had a little way front end up in the sky. Oh, my life. Let's hope that doesn't happen in the race. Yeah, uh, good luck, Bobby. Um, I think he's done well in the first two rounds. I think he's second, sitting second in the championship at the moment. Managed to avoid any... Uh, controversy unlike myself and thus has taken a good position in the championship to start with so we've got what seven minutes until qualifying starts so just trying to get back into the swing of things with the car just try a couple of different lines out see what feels best So if we can get, I'd like to be down in the 47s if I'm honest. Get down to 47, I'll be happy with that. Just got to get there though, got to hook it all up. Remember in rounds one and two, we had the pace, we actually got fastest lap in in I think the first race and we wasn't fast, far off fastest lap in the second race so we had good pace in the first two rounds just to convert it into a result there you go nice chicane of death there kept it tidy right final corner wide there, late on the throttle, 
Alright, I don't reckon that'll be a 47. It'll probably be a 48 if I'm lucky. Nope. <laughs> Only just a 49. Right, so I've got plenty of time to find. First corner. Get the nose in. Get on the power. Try and keep it on the track. There we go, just about. Right. This corner's pretty much flat out. Ah, too early on the shift up to third there, I think. Found a lot of time. fifth as we go up through the chicane there that chicane there is all about trying to scrub as little uh, speed off as possible through there and hard on the brakes right, back on the power how much time into qualifying it's four minutes purple sector there that's good That chicane is so sketchy. I think that's going to kill some people this round. These two rounds, in fact. If we could do two races and nobody gets killed at the chicane of death, I will be surprised. Alright, let's see where that takes us. 48-4. There you go, get in there. Lost three tenths in that final sector. There you go, it's important to catch that first. Oh, there we go. Right. Qualifying to go by the looks of it, unless they're going to flip the track one more time. I ain't taking that chance. I'm going to try and get out there as quick as possible. Blue flag? Jog on, mate. Four minutes to qualify. Okay. Well, I'm going to go practice then. So we're looking for one of 47 in qualifying. That's what we want. Thanks for the update, Bob. Qualifying in four minutes. Gonna get to it. I'm still changing up too early, I think, there to third. Off we go up the hill. Come on. Need more power. Just trying to use the gearbox there to scrub off the extra speed where possible. AMH um, Racing. I believe they won round two, so they were fast at Brands Hatch then. Looks like they're fairly consistent here as well. So Bob Wrecker's second gear at 66. Oh God, I'm looking at the, what Bob's messages are and not at the track. Right, we'll give Bob's a 66 mile an hour power shift a shot. Right, down into T1. There you go. That's nice and smooth. Looks like qualifying is going to come any minute now. Wait, yeah, try the 66 mile an hour shift. Seemed to work okay. I 
Thanks for the tip, Bob. There we go, there's qualifying started. Right, I'm going to have to put my phone on silent because it's going freaking nuts down here. There we go. Phone down on the floor. Right, qualifying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm literally welded to the floor here. I want to get out. Don't want somebody in front of me. Who the hell is in front of me? Okay. Bogus. Begby? Yeah, bo Bogus Begby. Oh, AMH race is right behind me. Do not want to be giving him a slipstream down the whole uh, start finish straight. Right, let's see if we can line up bonus Begby. Bogus Begby. Ugh. We're going to give him a few flashes, see if he can see that. See if he wants to pull across. He doesn't need to pull across, just pull out of the way. There we go, we'll go up the inside. There you go, I prefer to have him there. There you go. No Formula One shenanigans here. I ain't gonna mess around over slipstreams. Just gonna get it on. Cutler, Scooby, a little bit late to the show. Looks like they're gonna have to get a shuffle on. Go. Nice chicane of death. Looked like AMH is pulling out of it. Looks like Bogus Begby is going to try and use me as a slipstream. Fan freaking tastic. It's one thing I don't know how. Hey, Chris. Chris Egg Boo Noob. How's it going in the comments down there? Trying to go for the win tonight, pal. Let's try and get good qualifying first of all. Oh, no. Hit the kerb. Ran wide. Ah, lost a lot of speed there. But not as much as bone Bogus actually spun out the first turn. Ah, ran a little bit wide on the exit of the hairpin there. Right, maximum concentration now. Ah, didn't get the apex there. Wide of the apex there, lost a lot of time there. Right, up the hill. Come on, little Mazda MX-5. Doesn't look like AMH is close enough to be getting a slipstream off us. go. Decent hairpin. Right, need to wind it all up for this chicane of death. Pwah, I think it was on two wheels there. Right, trying to tap this, but not too much. There you go, on the power. Come on, turn. There we go. Right, drive for the line. So this is going to be the banker lap. Not fast enough, 48.6. I wanted a 47. Yeah, as you can see, several people going faster than us there. Too many mistakes. Right, need to really cut down the mistakes now. A little bit deep into that hairpin. But we made some time. Go, just trying to take a nice smooth line up the hill. 
need to find seven tenths. Go. Good exit out of the hairpin. There's another half a tenth. Again on two wheels there. Come on. Too deep into the final corner. Do the best I could with what I had. Right, line of least resistance to the fi finish line. 48-1. Ah. <sighs> Second at the moment. Oh, my heart is pounding through my chest. Ah, th thanks for the good luck from you, Chris. Oh. Second. If we can uh, come home in second, oh, that's a good result. A few no-shows, so with the no-shows, this is a chance to uh, get a good result. Right, straight into the race. There we are, number two. Getting the little MX-5 little lights out. Right, let's try and have a good start, yeah. Oh, such cute little face on this thing. Right, launch control on. Right, looks like we've got a good start. That's that's the first bit down. go right guys behind if you guys can scrap for me start fighting and do a bit slower lap times than you should be doing I'll be most grateful right Go up the hill. Come on. Can't read your uh, message right now, Chris, because I've got gl gloves on. I can't approve it either. Deep into the fir first time through the hairpin. Right, we've got Tibbs behind us. I hope the slipstream isn't too powerful in the race here. Again, it looks like I'm still going a bit too deep into the final corner there. So we just need to adjust our style through that final corner. One lap down, eight minutes to go. <laughs> oh. Oh, we've lost two people already by the looks of it. Had to be a bit hesitant on throttle there. Just didn't feel like the front end was going to hold. Hold. That Larini sign, does anybody think it looks like a bit... Cross between Martini and Lambrini. That's what comes to mind every time I see it. Go up the hill, come on. Tibbs still behind us, yep. Yeah. I 
don't feel like I'm going to get a rest for the whole of this race. Whoa, car on two wheels. Nearly threw it away then. What we need is one of those heart rate monitors. Like they have in uh, the uh, actual Gran Turismo World Tour finals. See how the old ticker's doing. Right now I'm just trying to stay in a rhythm. Stay in a point where I feel comfortable. Oh, there's a 47.9. I could have done with that in qualifying. So did they. Uh, but just try and stay in somewhere where I feel comfortable. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel at this point. If I was down near the back, I'd maybe be like, right, let's try something different. But at this point, I'm just going, hitting the points where I, which I know. I'm not trying anything new. Nearly trying to pull it in the goddamn barrier there, though. Right, up the hill we go. Right, right. Oh, now we've got Prosner behind us. Tibbs has dropped down to six, so it looks like there may have been an issue there. Trying to use the gearbox there to slow the car down in that hairpin. <sighs> right, chicane of death. Lift. Back on the power. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Whoa! That woke me up. There you go. Better final corner there. Got closer to the apex. Right, long straight here. Let's get the gear change done. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you should see in the um, the tw uh, the six-hour endurance that we did, uh, Chris. Uh, we we did a six-hour endurance to raise money for charity, and uh, one of the guys I work with was listening in. There was me going, oh gone in into a bit a bit too deep there that's what she said <laughs> apparently made him crack up while listening at work oh tried too hard there but looks like the gap's six and a half seconds so looks like we're maintaining a good lead here I'm not gonna back off though so that's when you're go, going to have an issue if you start backing off too much. Right, I can see the battling. It's quite busy behind. Looks like, so, uh, MRC Bobby is high up in the championship. So we want him to no offence to him, but we want him to be down behind some of those cars there. So, uh, Bogus, AMH Racing, Prosner. We need you all up over him. And in front of him, preferably. Right, I'm going to read your message. Mr. Charity. Yeah, so um, this is a league race, um, Chris. So uh, there's a group called uh, Next Gen Racing. So they're holding this. This is the top lobby. Uh, so all the other people are racing right now with us all around the world. Uh, it's a, a championship sponsored by Excite, uh, which is a, a energy drink, a bit like a monster or Red Bull, uh, but a British company. Uh, their product you can find in Holland Barrett, of all places. Went and picked up one the other day. Um, so, yeah, they're sponsoring this championship. Winner gets a crate of Excite drinks. So, winner can be hyped, that's for sure. So. 
Oh, have we lost another one? Oh no, we've got uh, a return driver. So they're probably returning for race two. Gaps up to nine and a half seconds. Right, so it looks like this is going to be last but one lap. So I've got one more lap after this one because there's only a minute and a half left. This race is a 10 minute race. Race two is reverse grid and a 20 minute race. So a bit of a longer race. We can maybe make our way through the field a little bit. Yeah, when we get to the final lap, uh, I'll show you the livery that we've got. So we, we've all got Excite liveries. In fact, I'll probably see if we can see it down the start finish straight here. So, oh, there you go. Um, there you go, there's the Excite logo on the front. I've gone for a matte white and black with a gloss blue section. Final lap. go on the power gap up to almost 10 seconds and we've still got fastest lap which believe it or not means something to me as I said in the rounds one and two reverse races reverse race grids are always going to be interesting because I find the issue becomes you've got the faster drivers at the back and of course they want to work, work their way through the field um, with slower drivers ahead and they want to get past those slower drivers as fast as possible but often you'll have maybe a more conservative fast driver who will wait for the moment but of course if they're getting pressure from behind from somebody that they've just finished a race, maybe racing for the win, who's right behind them, they're gonna push and potentially make those mistakes. So, looks like Bobby's in fourth at the moment. We need him to stay down there. Gonna get on the brakes. There you go. Up through the gears. Right, and that'll be a victory. Come on, where's the checker flag? Where's the checker flag? There's the checker flag. Get in. Oh, right, let me go and approve uh, what comment. Uh, oh, there you go. Add a profanity in the uh, chat bot. Uh, blocked out your profanity there, Chris. But I've added it in for you. Oh, that was a, a tough first race. Well, it was, wasn't tough, tough, but... We had to work our way, th uh, get a good start, and then keep our concentration. Oh, results are confirmed. Winner and fastest lap. So I'm happy with that. Does mean we're going to be back of the grid for the next race. See, I've got an Excite livery there, Chris. And I've even done an Excite race suit. That is commitment there. Say so thank you to everybody. Right, we'll uh, go and grab a replay just in case we need it. Save. Thank you, Lightblade. Oh, say. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, where's the thank you? Ah, oh, there's the thank you. And Bobby, Nightblade, Lightblade, and Bobby five minute break so whew, well done mate i was third twatted it <laughs> five minute break yeah uh yeah i was i was watching you all the way through bob um just having a look to see where you was where in relation to everybody else to see where you finished oh right thank you tibs i'll go and give you a thank you as well so, gonna have reverse grid now. Hopefully, we'll have a few people uh, coming back. They have advantage from starting from right from the front, though. Oh, 
Oh man, I enjoyed that. Felt like a felt like I could get in a nice rhythm and just pound it out. Hey, not pounding it out like you guys think. <laughs> I mean, pounding out the lap time. Yeah, Tibbs there hating the chicane of death. I'm not surprised. It's one of those ones where it's a corner where you can gain a lot by risking a lot, but often it's better to not risk that much and play safe and just take what you can from it. Say thank you to AMH. Oh. Uh, this is a proper thing, Scooby there. You pound every night, do you, Chris? I mean, Bob. Uh, you know what? That does not surprise me. Does not surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> Oh, right, I'm I'm ready for the next one. I I don't wanna stop, I wanna keep in the the flow. Where are we next week? Is it next week we're to Scuba? Scuba's gonna be a great track. It's gonna be sketchy as fuck, but it's gonna be great. Yeah. Oh, should we have a look at the track uh on track action? Oh no, run button. Went to track. Didn't want to go to track. Jog on, mate. Spectate. So, NGR Cutler. Only dude out on track. Let's see how it's going. Revving the nuts off it out of that final corner. Oh, I'll go... Your comment was held for review, Bob, but I've allowed it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Scuba. I'm hoping to Scuba is the next race on the calendar. Um, cause, yeah, it is a great track, and we should be doing like one minute lap times. So it'd be like a 10 or 20 lap race for race one and two. So I'm looking forward to that. have a look at Cutler's livery. Oh, oh, my view buttons don't work in this uh, in this view, but we can check it out here. Starts at eight thirty, pal. If you uh, Scooby, if you're the guy on Facebook that I said it uh, started at eight thirty, did try to let you know who's this AMH racing. So let's have a look what he's doing. Yeah, looks about the same as me so far. Yeah. Oh, come on, Scooby. D don't pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> wow, there's so many innuendos here. Uh, where's Scooby? Scooby. Everybody's telling him not to pull out. Uh, how did you get the Excite deal? Oh, uh, it's nothing to do with me. It was um, basically the group who have set this up. Uh, NGR at the top there. It's Next Gen Racing. Uh, they hold quite a few different races for different um, on different games. Uh, I believe they approached. Uh, um, they approached Excite, and Excite said, um, <laughs> yeah, there is an innuendo every five minutes. I think there's a lot of innuendos in racing, to be fair. Um, but yeah, uh, he, uh, Mark, who actually runs uh, Next Gen Racing, I think he approached Excite, and uh, Excite were happy to get on board. Um, so I believe they were inundated with Excite liveries, because they did a bit of an Excite um, livery competition as well. So... Good fun. Right, I'm going to get to track though. Because if you went on track, you may not be on the grid.
Ah, oh, come on, Scooby. Oi, Prosta! <laughs> Got caught there with his bright orange uh, wheels. Right, race two. Starting, there's me, right at the back. Starting eighth. On the bright side, we can only move forward. We had good pace in the first race. So, we had a good start in the first race. So, let's get launch control on the go. Traction control to one. Not quite good, as good a start as we got last time, but not an awful start. We are catching the guys and girls ahead. It's all going to start concertineering up, though. I'm going to be cautious. Whoa. MH catching the rear end of somebody there. Whoa. MH lost it. <sighs> Backed out of that. But there's not much I could do with a car across the front end of mine. At least it's a 20 minute race. And there's plenty of time to catch up. Right. Up through the gears. So what, we've got 2.8 seconds to catch to the guys ahead. There we go. Good momentum through there. Right. Let's see if we can try and catch up a few of these guys and try and catch up Bobby. Got mate. It's important I do not overdrive the car though. Right. Here we go. Chicane of death. There we go. Nicely done. Looks like everybody got through it fine though. Yeah, we're going to need a bit of slipstream here. Chris. As these cars aren't the most powerful. Oh, there goes Cutler. Got on the curb a bit too much there. Yeah, these cars were only, I believe, 265 horsepower, but only 795 kilos. So, they're lightweight cars. So hopefully a slipstream will be nice and strong once we can get a sniff of it. And then once we do get a sniff of it, whoa, we're going to get sucked hard. Real hard. That's another innu innuendo right there. Right, who we got up ahead? Bogus and Prosner. Bobby's already up to second. Bloody hell. I can see him just down there though. Oh, understeer. Oh, that was close to the gravel. I had to back out of it. Right, we're starting to get, get the suck on. Right, should we give him a few flashes? Right, there's the flashing lights. Just telling Bogus we're up here. And we'd like to come through. Oh, I had to back out of that, or otherwise I would have been right up his chuff. Right, so who we got now? Pro Proza. I believe his first name is Connor. Right, come on, front end. Getting a lot of understeer there. I think that might be I'm just trying too hard. Are we in sucking range? There's fastest lap. Faster than my previous uh, fastest lap in race one. Doesn't look like we're quite within a good strong sucking range. Remember more slipstream you get the earlier we're gonna have to get on the brakes Ooh, ran a bit wide there lost a bit of time got a black mx5 a trying to lock in on the rear of my car 
and we went into a bit deep there. Right, he's just off my right wing. Gonna give him the space. Just gonna hold on the apex there, just to try and stop him from getting the switch back. He's gonna have the slipstream. We're gonna stay to the right. If he wants pass, he's gonna have to go the long way. It's got me on the cut back though. Oh, this is going to be too wide into the chicane of death. That's sketchy AF. Whoa, the car on two wheels again there. Good ra racing there, Bogus. That was tight. Tight like a tiger. Come on, front end. Right, got 2.1 seconds to uh, Connor. Need to try and start closing that gap. Be nice, looks like the front four are fairly close together, so it'd be nice if they could start fighting. A little bit of kick of oversteer as we came out there. Yeah, come on, front four. Get nice and close. Share some body warmth. There we go. Wow, purple first sector. So that means fastest of anybody in the race so far. So we're pushing. Come on, front four. You know you all want to be in with each other. A little bit late on the brakes there. Wah, lost a bit of time there. Yeah, two and a half tenths. Got on the brakes and then chickened out of it. Getting up on two wheels. Right, we haven't managed to catch Connor at all this lap. Until that final corner caught him a little bit. Four, sweating here. Right, 12 and a half minutes left. Right, we need to get back down into the 47s and then we can really start catching these guys. Come on, Connor, you just need to catch those front three and make it a four way fight. Right, there you go. Good first sector again, and again, purple sector. Look at them fighting down there. They're fighting as they come into the fast S's here. We've run a little bit wide, but just about to manage to rescue it. Yeah, look at them fighting into the hairpin. go power out there you go had a better hairpin this time another purple sector oh nearly lost the rear end there come on Right, Bobby's managed to get himself all the way up into first. Look at that slipstream bat battle there. They are all over that slipstream. 
Let's hope it doesn't end in tears. Please don't. Went a bit deep into the first corner there. Come on. Just not catching them right now. There you go. Looks like I wasn't catch well, poor first sector, so I did lose quite a lot of time in that first corner making that slight error. Right, look at them equally spaced out right now. It's because they've all got the slip stream off each other. They're all kind of pulling each other along. They're getting some decent performance down the start finish straight, I would have thought. Decent lap time from that. Oh, looks like the first casualty, Tibbs. Right, can we get him into the final corner? Give him a few flashes. Yeah, looks like we've got good momentum. Although he's coming back at us uh, on the exit there. This is going to be my fear now. Is this going to end up in a battle between me and Tibbs and we're just going to drop back from the guys ahead? I hope not. Looks like Tibbs is slowly pulling ahead. Oh, he's got the inside line there. Do the cut back. He's got the cut back back. Right, we're door to door here. This is definitely holding holding us up. Come on, Tibbs, just work with me here. I've gone in way too deep. Looking in my mirrors, that was. No, and I've spun it. Oh, oh my God. How can I be so stupid? How can I be so stupid? Trying too hard with Tibbs there. Went in too deep. Looks like Bogus has made a mistake as well. Oh, man. I am so stupid. Right. 13 seconds and 7 minutes left. So I need to make 2 seconds a lap to win this. I'm sorry guys, but I don't think that's happening. Oh, looks like AMH is lagging out, maybe. He's still there, he was bouncing around in the gravel trap a moment ago. Right, let's try and get some fastest lap times right. So half a tenth off the best time in sector one. Piss poor uh, chicane there. Scrubbed a lot of speed off. Right. There's AMH racing. Right. Let's make that our our mission point. There 
There we go. Good chicane of death. But doesn't look like we're catching AMH much. Back on the power. There we go. Come on then. Oh, sweat in here. Uh, it wasn't Tibbs' fault. Uh, I was just trying too hard. He did the right thing. I th I thought he was going to go for the move down the inside. So I kind of left the door open. trying to, Wanting to try and get a, the best line through the corner. And lose as little time as possible. So I left the door open. And then at the last minute I thought, you know what, he's going to go for it. So I best break as late as I can. And I just break too late. Right, purple first sector. Come on. Need to, need to start putting some times down here, lads. Right, another purple sector, that's good. <laughs> On two wheels again. Should be a decent lap time. AMH racing, look at that. I knew he was on a good lap. Ah! He's taking fastest lap. Oh, that's a bit gutting. I know we traded fastest lap in rounds one and two as well. Sliding out of that corner there. Go get a better drive out there. Right, two and a half minutes left. Don't think we're going to get much more than what we've got right now, unless there's some serious issues for that guys ahead. Looks like we. I think I want but what. How far behind the leaders were we? 13 seconds was it? We're only 9 now. Doing a blue sector set's so personal best. Wow, that was a good chicane of death there. How good poise through there. Oh, it looks like AMH is catching somebody. So it's probably light blade he's catching. Was that everybody? Light blade's slow there. Oh man, AMH has passed him. Now I think this is going to be my final lap. These guys ahead might get another lap. So if there's any time left on the clock when you get to start finish line, you can do another lap. If there isn't, then that's it. That's the end of it. So if you do get on another lap, it kind of locks you off from the rest of the field. Right, pushing as hard as I can here. Almost in the gravel there. All 
Right, we're only seven seconds off the lead here. Oh, that's purple sector as well. Good chicane of death ish. A little bit late on the turn in. There you go, see that's the final lap for me. Looks like some ahead. Oh no, nobody got another lap. Can I get fastest lap? Oh um what? Zero point 0 0.08 of a second off fastest lap. Oh. Man. Vanden made the mistake. Uh, so it was battling with Tibbs and Prosner. Could have been first, or first, second or third. But we made a mistake. So, yeah. Tib Tibbs got into my mind. It was my fault. Ah. Uh, I'll have to watch back the um, the stream, but I swear I saw in the top mirror him go to the inside once I committed to taking the racing line. Yeah, I could have been top three, should have been top three, but I can only blame myself, my my mistake, my fault. It was some good fun racing though, I enjoyed it. Got a win in the first race, so I'm happy with that. That'll be some nice points in the championship. And there's always next week. Track that I enjoy. Track that I like. Oh, man, that was fun. That was real good fun. Just waiting for it. Looks like uh, Bogus uh, Begbie to finish. All the time with the run out. There you go. Finished. Confirm of the results. Sixth. A laugh to do, I suppose. Would have been nice to be better, but... Say the V. I suppose it's up two places from where I started. So, I oh, thank you for watching, Chris. It's nice to catch up with you. Nice to see you for the last hour. Taking an hour at your time to uh, watch our stream. So... Congrats to uh, Bobby. Well done. Well won. And uh, what we'll do, we'll save the replay. Right, I really enjoyed that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is going to have a quick look at the replay. On the first laps. Uh, so, I'm just going to say bye to everybody. Have uh, fun. Uh, and then a bit of good night. Right. Let's go and check that replay out. Well done, Bobby. Good race. Uh, let's see if we back up. I just want to see if... If I imagined seeing him make a move or not. Uh, my library... Uh, get some replays on the go. Play. So I have to say thank you for everybody who's uh, joined in and watched tonight. Um, it was good fun. It's nice to have better results this time around than we did last time. Although we haven't cut out the silly mistakes. So, But that's why we do this kind of racing. You're only going to get better by putting yourself in these situations. AI aren't going to spook you get in your head so you know what oh come on system there we go we've got to wait for this bit until we can uh, fast forward yeah yeah we know right fast forward let's in fact let's just check the incident in the first corner so look coming into it on the brakes I think that's, uh, yeah, AMH. So he has a twitch there, goes to the curb, loses the rear end, and then uh, nothing I could do. Just trying to control my own car. So, yeah, try and catch everybody. 
took a good few laps in catching. Got past one there. On to Connor. Connor just staying away. Yeah. When was the Tibbs incident? Have we gone past it? Oh, so this is Tibbs. So, got alongside him. Um, this was some great moving. Actually, actually we're going to go back and watch this. Oh, thank you, Venue. Yeah, we're just having a quick replay of the second race here. So, look, we'll go down the inside. Tibbs into the chicane. And then you can see Tibbs gets a better exit. Gets his so I like the black and gold. I am a fan of black and gold. And look, he gets the inside. And then we do this cut back. And then we go down the inside. And then he does the cut back again. And then you can see we're alongside each other. My dog's messing with the curtains. And then coming down into this fash cane. I've got the inside line here. So he has to tuck back in. Up the hill we go. And then this is where it is. So this is where Tibbs well and truly fucked with my head. So it looks like he's a bit too far back. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking it's too far back. Oh God, look how early he's braked. And look at that. Oh, I just played, sailed straight off there. Oh, uh, well done Tibbs. It was my own fault. Yeah. I shouldn't have uh, let you get in there. Yeah, that was it. Was very close venue. It, to be fair, really enjoyed that bit of racing with Tibbs. It took a good few laps to catch him. Cause look, uh, in fact, where is he? So look, we'll go to a nice cinematic. So, well, we're gonna say good night after this. But you can see he makes a mistake in the chicane of death. We we'll give him the flashes to let him know we're coming. And then I probably go a little bit too deep into here. You see, I had to go down to second. And that just allowed Tibbs back on the inside. So even, I think even if I braked better there, he would have had a good chunk of slipstream down here anyway. But yeah, side by side, all the way down the start finish straight. He started nudging ahead of us here. And then we both get on the brakes. We've got the inside. Just try to hold it at the apex so he couldn't get the cut back of the first section here. But gets a better exit here. Literally just kissing my bumper and then look so alongside each other and then switch back just there I had a back right off it to try and get the switch back and then it goes to the switch back again gets a better drive up over the rise and all this time I was like ah oh, I think this is the problem reverse grid I was concentrating so much on trying to catch the guys ahead so at this point I was like right I've got the move done he's behind me I need to try and minimize the time lost to catch those guys ahead and yeah coming over here he just yeah him just being that in the middle of the track there sailed sailed off and then I got on the power too, too keenly on the exit made the problem even worse Lost two more positions. Oh, anyways, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back uh, next week for Scuba. So that's going to be good fun. Really enjoy that track. Uh, if you want to see some more live racing, we will have GTTCC, the first round. That's starting on Friday. So we're going to have live racing on Friday and Sunday night. So um, keep an eye out for that. But until that time, I will bid you a fair do and we'll see you again sometime soon. See you later. Bye.